Well, hello, hello, this is Rosa RC Drew Creations. How you doing? Bringing to you a Timu haul. And let me get you a little bit closer. Sorry about the move there. Okay, good. I'm pooped. It's the end of the day. And I'm ready to go to bed. And I'm going to unwind first and then go to bed. So let's get right to it. I ordered some stuff that we have long overdue needed. But it's like everything else, it, within its time, it's time to get it. And when, when funds are fun, available, then you get it. <laughs> Here's a little cup. This one, let's see, does it say what the, how many ounces it is? 500 millimeter, millil, milliliters. I'll put it in the pop-up box because I don't know what that means in conversion charts. But the reason I got that is hubby has a container right now because he likes to have a bowl of cereal but he takes the bowl with just the dry cereal in there and then he takes another container with the milk and that's what he takes but the thing has got that one of those removable silicon seals so it's snap shut and it's airtight well it's going on his third year using it and it, the mildew just doesn't always come off we take that we take the little rubber seal off and then we scrub and scrub but now the mildew doesn't even come off and it, I think it's kind of gross because it's clear and you can see right through it and I don't like it so I got him this, and then what's nice about it, this just pops off, and you got your little travel spoon, so you're all ready to roll, and then you push it down so it stays firm, okay, it doesn't move or anything, so it's a spork, spoon and fork together, and you push it back, and it... I think no it doesn't it's got to say yeah no it doesn't well, I thought it would close totally shut but it doesn't but that's okay then what's really nice is it's got this little air vent thing here okay and this is made for um, hot stuff cold stuff hot stuff whatever but the reason I like I wanted to get something like this is I can wash this whole thing and I don't have to worry about it and then I can wash the inside of that. And as you can see, it has that little rubber seal. Let's see if I can get it out. I probably I, can, I don't have a knife that I can get it out. Let's see, will these scissors work? I don't want to take it out and damage it too much because you got to be careful with these rubber seals. Okay, if I don't, let me do it. I need to get something really tiny. But as you can see, there's a little rubber seal. Okay, so it's right inside there. So this is going to be airtight. And then on cold days, when I make soup, and he wants to have soup for lunch, he can put his soup in here. I think it's a little small. I think this is made more for me. I need to get him another one for himself that's bigger. And I did look on the website, and I didn't see anything that was bigger that wasn't really tall. And he doesn't want anything that's really, really tall, more wider, so I could fit in his lunchbox, because it needs to be shorter but wider. So we, I can always get another one, and he, I can get two more, and then that way he can have two. But it's up to him. I'm going to let him decide because it's for him. This one's probably going to be for me because this is perfect size for me. But I have a microwave at work. So for me, it, I really don't need something like this because I have no need for it. But this would be good for me to take to a crop, like when I'm at a crop, because a lot of the crops that I go to, they don't have a microwave, and they don't have a refrigerator. The ones that I host has a microwave in the fridge. But I host it, so I'm okay. I'm good to go. So that goes right there and this just see that and it doesn't fall out then i got this strictly for me for hot liquids like with hot chocolate and i want to make a hot drink and i like it because there's a cup right here it's a twist top so this is leak proof and you can't see it, but there's a little rubber seal. Let me see if I can angle it just enough. There's a rubber seal on the inside there. So that's what makes it leak proof. And I like the fact that you can pick this up and you can hold it. And you don't have to worry about spilling all over the place. So I could actually put like my milk. Uh, I actually already make pre-made hot chocolate. I have a little chocolate mix. I think I put a, I think I put a video. If I did, I'll put a link in there. If I didn't, I'll make a video for it. <laughs> And you put this inside, oh no, this way. Okay, so you can put your hot liquid drink in here. 
And then when you're holding it, this doesn't get hot. Because, <coughs> excuse me, there's a gap between the this, this here and this, so this doesn't get hot. And then the fact that this is, see it's all flushed. And I really like this part, so I can carry it and dangle it. I think I got me two of those, sure did. I got me two of those, one for him and one for me, so that way if we're in the car and it's cold, or even if you want a cold drink and you want to put some ice, but we have a lot of those, um, those igloo and those Yeti cups, we have those tall ones, and my sister made me a whole bunch of decorative ones, she does that, um, that thing with her Cricut and makes it all pretty and decorative, I'm not into that craft hobby, I don't know if I'm going to or not, it's just, I just don't have any more room and I don't need any more crafts, so. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, but anyway, so I got a bunch of those, but the only thing, the reason I don't like those for this stuff is like hubby, he needs to be able to put it in the microwave and heat it up because he may be eating lunch at 12 or he may be eating lunch at two or three in the afternoon. It varies from day to day. Okay. So he needs to be able to heat it up if it's, if it's still not warm. And that's why I want to see something like this that he could pop in the microwave, heat it up because those ones, those Yetis and those other ones. I think it's equally good. There's, it's, another, it's another very popular brand. But anyway, they have the metal insert, which keeps up the product cold, ice to ice, ice, cold or hot. But the thing is, you can't reheat it again. So you can't put that, and you can't put that in the microwave because it's got metal on the inside. So I wanted something that was microwave safe. So that's why I got these. I needed two more of these. I only had enough for one. <laughs> could have got two of these but then I had to give something else up and I don't want to give anything else up so this is just my containers for my pasta I need one more and then I'm all set for my little tiny little kitchen galley galley kitchen here in my pantry and then this I really really am wanting I sh I'll put a link in the video I did a video of a uh, hanging on the wall silicone with the little nibs uh, toilet brush, which is great, it's fantastic, but it doesn't get under the rim of the toilet. So that's what this is for. I really didn't want two different tools, but you know, something's better than nothing. Because, I'm sorry, I can't stand that uh, yuckiness on the rim, under the rim. And this goes right, here's your rim, and this goes right underneath it, and you can scrub all the way around it. So, and it's got pretty firm bristles. So I think this is going to be a win-win. I didn't really want a pink one, but that's okay. And plus, I could put a little hook right next to the toilet brush, and I can let it hang, hang, and let it air dry. So I'll put it this way, so this way this doesn't this just because this is nasty that touched the sink. Of course, I'm going to always rinse it out and stuff, but I like to sanitize it at least once every every while because you should always sanitize your toilet brushes because most of us don't buy a toilet brush but once or twice a year or once or twice every three or four years. You should sanitize your toilet brush. So that's what this is. And let's see. Oh, these are freezer labels. I am, these are made to label. And you put on your container or your foil. And these are made to go in the freezer. And they won't fall off. So I'm hoping these work. I haven't tried one because you can see they're sealed. So, but that's what those are. This, oh, this is my, uh, I started... Um, oh, what do you call it? Oh, I just lost my train of thought. Wood burning on wood. And I started off El Cheapo because I want to make sure I'm going to practice on inexpensive wood before I get the expensive wood. Because as everybody knows, especially here in America, wood is very expensive. This is sandpaper because you got to sand. This is 400 grit sandpaper. You have to sand your wood. Then you wipe it down. Then you can add a stencil or freehand your design on the wood. And then you can um, wood burn it with a wood burning tool or wood burning paste. And I have both. And I actually kind of like it and stuff. So uh, that is going to definitely be a video on my craft channel once my craft channel is up and rolling. It's almost there but not there yet. Okay, these are some sheet protectors. I was totally out, and as all as all my regular subscribers know, I put my recipes. I print them, even if I create it myself. I still print it. 
I save it in my Evernote program, which is a computer program that I can use my cell phone or the computer. And it's always there. So this way, if something happens, whatever, and my, I lose this or I got, I got dirt and junk and all that, it got ruined, whatever, that's okay. Uh, but I do that because, I, as you all know, uh, I'm a messy baker and a messy cook. It's I'm messy. And I'm always spilling something. And uh, so I have the sheet protectors on there so my recipe doesn't get all messy and stuff. So and this is a, I think I paid less than $2 for this thing. Oh, I didn't write down the prices on any of this stuff. But you know, that doesn't really matter because everybody's different. Because you could do the spin the wheel and you get all kinds of different kind of discounts. So. It, the price really doesn't matter. It's just what you're going to be able to get it whenever you want something. Uh, I really am enjoying my baking. Baking bread, uh, nut bread. But because y'all know I'm on a weight loss program, I can't have a lot of that stuff. But I need to learn how to make it because the whole point of my, creating my channel was I'm 63. I'm going to hopefully retire in two years. And hubby says, once I retire, we are not going out to eat like we do now. I'm going to start cooking. Because he's not going to cook while he works. And I'm home. And I go, okay. But he, he's been cooking our whole marriage. So he's the cook. Until this last, I'm going on my second year. Yeah, I'm going on my second year of learning to cook. And learning to make totally from scratch. So that way I can have everything. Buy stuff in bulk, save some money, store it, preserve it, and the whole thing. So, but look at these. Aren't these the cutest little things? Look how, see how they're not very deep. But I can make a whole thing of like banana nut bread, uh, almond, uh, cranberry walnut bread, and I can have one of these as my treat for the whole time, and the rest I can give to because I only make this. When I'm going to be giving something, or we're going to have, we're hosting a party. I do like to host parties and stuff. So this way, they're going to be there, and I can make all different kinds, and I get to enjoy what I made. So that's what this is. But you can use it for anything: cakes, uh, cook. Uh, I'm going to do cookies on it, but you can do like brownies, uh, any kind of cakes, stuff like that. But that's that's what that was for. Okay. And the fact that it's silicone makes it even nicer, so it's going to be easy cleanup. We had uh, we have a fireplace which we love to burn fire uh, fire in our fireplace during winter because hubby and I love the crackling of the wood and the fire going and blazing and it saves on our gas bill by having the fire going. Well, we always have a brush because we have one of those little metal utensil things for the fire start fireplace. For the life of us, we can't find the dustpan and the dust broom and we bought it when we first bought the house. Strictly for the fireplace, and I always say the fireplace. Have no idea where it's gone. We looked everywhere in the garage. We looked everywhere in the house. We don't know where it went. Have no idea. So I just bought a little one because I really needs a little one. And I, I got this one because it's all together as one piece. The other one that we had was two different pieces, and it didn't stack very well. But this I can actually hook onto the little railing because actually. One of my husband's best friends made him, he, he uh, makes iron, decorative iron items, and he made us that fireplace thing. It's got a stand with the brush and the shovel, but the brush is so long, you can't get into it to get all the ashes out, so we needed something small. So it's just a mini little dustpan is all it is. I didn't even really care for the color, but that's all the color that they had. So, I, you know, I was, it was either the green or the pink, and I don't think pink would go good in my living room. And hubby would not want to be using pink. <laughs> so it's going to just sit in that little hook. So it's always going to be there. So whenever we need it, it's there. But that this is, this is actually good if you had it in a craft room or in your car. Uh, or even on the, like on the kitchen table if you're doing a bunch of stuff on the kitchen counter. You know, and just scrape your stuff over to what you need because it's a small mini one. So there's all kinds of uses for this, but... That's why I bought it, was for the fireplace. I got me my, um, I'm learning to decorate, not so much decorate, but color and enhance my cookies with different designs. I'm a freehand painter, and I love to do it, And but you can't mix your art brushes in craft room with your cake, your baking and your caking. So I got a set of uh, brushes, and these are gonna be strictly for 
the baking. So they're going to stay in my kitchen. But I got these because I had some other ones that I, one of my other team who hauls it. But I had this great idea with this little fan brush. Let's see, where did you open this up? I'm going to show you. Because for those of you who don't know, this is a quick little tip. And I practiced on paper, so it worked out fantastic. Because I used my craft stuff. But see these little fan brushes? When you're making your little cookies, especially like with Easter egg coming, you got, I'm going to make a little bit bigger than normal size white sugar cookie. And I'm going to draw the little Easter bunny with some little Easter eggs. This is going to be my little uh, grass that the eggs are hiding in. So I'm going to dip this into my icing for my cookies. And then I'll be able to brush it over because it's a fan brush. It's going to give me the look of grass. So I go, when I saw this, I go, oh, that's what I need! You know, and the only, I have three of these, but they belong in my craft room, and I've already used them on my craft stuff, so I can't use them for food. But these I can just use for food only. I try to find some food grade brushes. I have a set of food grade brushes, but they didn't have any of the big fan, and I needed the big fan. I could have used the smaller ones and just do it one streak at a time, but that's time consuming, and y'all know me. I want something done yesterday. <laughs> Anyway, there's all different sizes, and that's what this is. And this is going to be my bacon decorating for bacon and uh, actually just bacon because I won't. I, I'm not gonna. You don't decorate anything you're cooking, but my, my my cakes and my cookies. So I'm gonna teach myself how to learn how to do all that. I got myself another one of these little brushes because I wanted to make sure that I have one in my craft room and one in my kitchen. And this is going to be also part of my uh, baking for my cakes or my cookies. And, oh, this is a spatula. And the reason I got this, let me show you. Here's my hand. I wear a size 5 ring, so my hands are not very big. Look at this. Perfect size for my hand. Now, if you're bigger, you definitely want a bigger one. But I like the fact that, look at that, and it's, see how thin that is? It's a spreader. All it is is a spatula spreader. This is all it is. There's nothing nothing fancy about it. But I got this, so when I'm doing my peanut butter, because I like to make peanut butter sandwiches, uh, when I'm, or if you're spreading butter, or uh, like when I'm making my homemade cinnamon rolls, this is a perfect spreader to put all over the cinnamon icing on your cinnamon rolls. <coughs> Something's got to tickle, and it's time because it's way past my bedtime. I got to go. But this is a perfect all-purpose use. I would have liked it to have a hole so I could hook it up, but that's okay. I'm just going to put it in my little drawer so it's always there, and then I'll have my little spatula that I could use it for what we could pretty much use it because it's silicone, but it's a hard look at that. It's a hard silicone, so it's not real flimsy like this this one let me open this one up all this is going to get washed anyway so i need to get it out of the bags see how flimsy this is and see this one this one's not see it doesn't bend and this one does see how it bends because this is a flimsy silicon where this one is a hard silicon so and then the last thing here I am always getting a little hangnail all the time. And I don't know if it's got something to do because I type all the time. But I got these because number one, I got that 90% discount. So that was the biggest reason. And I wanted to have, and I like the little Ziploc bag. Almost everything that they give you bring along comes in a Ziploc baggie. So I reuse my baggies. I don't throw them away. And I store this. So I'm going to store these are nail clippers. Number one, I got black because hubby going to be able to use them too. So they're just regular nail clippers. But I got two different sizes. And look at this one. This one's got a curve. Oh. See how that's got a curve to it? You see that? Let me angle. There you go. You can see that a little bit better there. See how that curve is there? And so this is great to go around your toenails. And this is just a regular old clipper like all the other ones are. You know, the standard little clippers. So one's going to go in my car, inside the baggie. And that's going to stay in one of my cubbies in my car. 
Because for the life of me, when I'm sitting there driving, I'm sitting there in bumper to bumper traffic, I get that every day. Going and coming to work. And I'm just sitting here and I have a little hangnail or something or ingrow. And I'm just, it's just bugging me, bugging me, bugging me. And so I'm going like this, I'm biting. It's like, I can't do that. Am I supposed to do that? So this, I'm going to have a nice set of clippers. And I don't have to worry about them getting caught with anything else. Because when you just toss it in a cabinet or a drawer, it tears up the blade, the cutting blade. And it dulls it. So keep do yourself a favor. Keep it in some kind of a baggie or something that could protect it. So that's what that is. And I'll let Hubby decide if he wants this one or we'll keep it in another room somewhere. But I'm thinking he's really going to I like this one. See the difference? Let me get down here. See the difference in the corners, the tips? This has got the angle. This is the straight curve one that almost all clippers have. Well, that is the end of my Timu haul. I thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe, and share my videos. I'm up to 600 subscribers. Getting closer and closer to my thousand. And I'm, I'm keeping an eye on my watch times because i got to have certain many uh, watch time hours in order to start to monetize to uh, help supplement my retirement. Because if I have some additional income coming in when I retire... I'll be able to buy some more goodies like this and show you all and demonstrate them so you don't have to spend your money on buying these things. You can just watch my videos and go from there. Anyway, let me show some stuff for my in thumbnail. <laughs> okay, here you go. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Take care.